Chess Explosion is a game made by C.T. Matthews, where you try to blow up your opponents with chess pieces and solve chess-like puzzles using said bombs. The best part is how you don't even have to know much about chess to get started playing. You move in a simple grid-like pattern, and the pieces you put down will explode in the pathway perspective of said piece. I know there's a solo story mode, but I really want to focus on the multiplayer for a moment. It's actually really good, and funnily enough, it has rollback netcode. Let that sink in for a moment. A chess game has better online play than most AAA games. Playing an online match is as simple as choosing matchmaking or making a lobby. Unfortunately, not many people are online, but I hope to change that with this video. So if you're feeling spunky like me, do what I did and buy 5 copies of the game, hold your Patreon supporters hostage and force them to have a good time. But seriously, a big thank you to my patrons for helping me gather online gameplay. Without them, things would have been awkward. During our spree of intellectual terrorism, we had a blast, pun intended, trying to outsmart each other by strategically placing our bombs. However, some people had other ideas. Oh, I hit myself. Spam. God, spam doesn't work, but ah. that's why I won. You gotta think. Too bad, yeah. spam, spam. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> You're gonna get no. us all killed. That's my job, spam. <laughs> It works! I oh murdered my myself back. I refuse to lose to someone in spams. <laughs> While I love the chaos of four player matches, I do wish the board was just a little bit bigger to incentivize strategic play. Eventually, I did some one on one matches, and without the chaos of multiple people, the game really shines here in this area. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention, you can chain bombs in this game. And if utilized properly, you could do some really devious setups to trap your opponents. Gotcha! Ah. Ooh, the setup was real on that one. And that does it for multiplayer. Short, sweet, and really reliable. We only ran into one connection problem. Man, the back yo, oh, hell yeah. Let's go. Okay. Yo, Yogi, let's go. Three. 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 <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! But otherwise, everything went smoothly. Now, before we move on to the single player content, while editing this video, I was able to reach out to CT Matthews and ask them for an interview and play a few rounds of the game. Little did I know, this guy is an EVO champion, and he practically handed my ass to me. To put it simply, he won some rounds, I won not as many. My favorite round was when he trapped me and forced me to die by my own explosions by blocking me. Nope. But I'm gonna be honest, I expected to lose and it was glorious watching him play. While I had him hostage, I held a short Q&A where I got to ask him some questions pertaining to the game's conception, development, and future plans. What are some basic facts about yourself, the things you've worked on? Hi, I'm CT Matthews, I'm an indie game developer in the UK, and I made Chessplosion. I've also done lots of game industry work as a programmer for studios like Lionhead Studios, Lab Zero Games, and Yacht Club Games. And I'm also a competitive fighting game player. When making Chessplosion, did you run into any developer roadblocks or creative roadblocks early on? So the tennis mode was originally going to be the only mode in the game, but it ended up being way too hard for new players to keep track of what was happening. So I added the other modes, and I changed tennis into a side mode. And for most of the early development, queens were overpowered and kings were underpowered. So I made queens shoot slow projectiles instead of beams, and I gave kings the proximity mine effect. Is Chessplosion your first game? Uh, I started making games for fun around 2004, and I've been a programmer in the game industry since 2009, but Chessplosion is the first indie game that I finished and released by myself. It's also the first time I've released my art and music as part of the game. As of December 2021, what do you plan to add to the current build of the game that's not out yet? Uh, I plan on adding a brand new single player mode in January or February to add more variety and replay value for people who want to keep playing single player after they've beaten all the other modes. Uh, this new mode includes some new types of ground and other tiles that weren't in the original modes, so I might add some new multiplayer maps that use these new tiles. Extra features for speedrunners would be cool to add too. And right now I'm working on improvements to online lobbies, and I plan on adding other online improvements such as spectating. Do you plan to make a Chessplosion 2 or keep updating the current game? 
So after the new single player mode, the other single player features, the online improvements, I eventually want to start making another game. I got lots of ideas for what my next game might be. Some of them are similar to Chessplosion, some of them are completely different, and I've currently got no idea which one I'm going to make. Do the little bird characters have names? Uh, they don't have official names, but I call them chess ducks when I'm talking about them. Uh, I haven't named any of the individual ones yet though. Is there any sort of deep lore that you'd like game theory to cover? Uh, no. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, game theory. Uh, Evo victory? Question mark? Yes. Uh, Skullgirls was one of the five games at Evo Online 2021, and I got first place in the European tournament. Uh, I love competing in fighting games, and I'd love to make my own fighting game in the future. Although I don't know if I'm good enough for animation to do that. Uh, question, why are you British? Uh, I was born this way. Sorry. Uh, is this game a thinly veiled critique of the socio-economic policies of Bosnia? Uh, it could be, but if it is, it was veiled enough that I didn't even notice I was doing it. Any other board games you want to make? Not yet. So I love making action games more than anything else. I said earlier that I've got a bunch of ideas for new games and I'm not sure which one to make. Uh, every single one of those ideas is an action game. So it could happen one day, but it would probably only happen if I randomly have another idea for combining an action game and a board game, like Chessplosion. Uh, question, did the movie Night Moves, that's a uh, knight with a K, inspire you to make exploding chess? Uh, I hadn't heard of that movie till now, it sounds wild, so no, it did not uh, inspire me. But I've seen a lot of recent indie games taking influence from the 90s PC game Night Moves, which was a puzzle action game by the designer of Tetris about a knight that moves the way that a chess knight moves in real time. Uh, which chess piece would you hang out with on a Tuesday night? I have no idea how to answer that question, but uh, the knight's my favourite looking chessplosion piece, so I'll go with the knight. Uh, is it true that the queen is having an affair with the rook? Uh, it's not an affair. All of the chessplosion chess pieces are poly. I guess, in saying that just now, I have now invented some lore that game theory should cover, thus ruining my answer to a previous question. Sorry everybody. So what's your thoughts on the Tennyson Gambit? Uh, the regular one seems pretty good, seems like a fun Gambit, although I'm nowhere near good enough at chess to know how well it works at high levels of play and how actually good it is to help you learn at chess. Uh, I saw a YouTube video on the ICBM variation and that one seems pretty strong. Thank you so much for making a video about me and for playing Chessplosion and caring about it. It's why I make games. All in all, it was an amazing time and a big thank you to CT Matthew for agreeing to contribute to this video. Battle mode is essentially the local multiplayer option where you can do free for all team battle and tennis battles. The single player modes consist of adventure, puzzle, survival, arcade, and training. Training is pretty self-explanatory where you learn the rules. Arcade pits you against a string of multiple challenges with a limited number of lives. And survival mode is just that. You are an unarmed and you have to go through waves of explosions taking as few hits as possible. If you're a fan of something like Tohu, it can be pretty exhilarating to think ahead and dodge it all. Puzzle mode takes us to preset boards where you have to blow up a set number of targets by thinking outside the box. And in some cases, setting up chains. You get as much time as you need to think, so this mode is actually quite relaxing. Moving into solo mode, it takes you into a Mario 3 inspired level select, where in order to progress, you must pass a certain number of stages, and finally a boss, to progress from world to world. And might I add, I really enjoy the choice of colors in each world. If you go into the options, you can even choose your own, and each one is more colorful and vibrant than the last. Puzzle Maker is the most recent addition to the game. Like all good games, this lets you make your own puzzles and share them via codes. While I haven't dived too deep in these custom puzzles, I can say they vary from thought-provoking to straight-up frantic, giving those who wanted more a real month for their money. Chess Explosion is a really good game, proving that simple ideas can go far if done right. I don't have much to criticize about it, but I would like to note that more is coming in the future to update, and I'll definitely cover that in an update video when it's released. For those of you that are interested in the development of this game, CT Matthews actually has a Twitter thread documenting all the changes he's made to it. And frankly, it's actually pretty cool, especially seeing how these little birds initially started off. <laughs> Look at those things. <laughs> Overall, the core gameplay is fun for chess nerds like myself and is worthy of the title Chess 2. If anyone wants to get the game, I'll leave links below on where to purchase it and hope to play a match against some of my viewers someday. With that, thanks for watching the video, and I'll see ya in the next one.